Hello healers, welcome to your love relationship, pros, cons and advice tarot reading. This is really going to be for the single guys or someone with, with already a partner, but that you know who you're talking about. If you are single and you don't know who you want to be with, you have no one in your life and no one in your sight, then this is not going to be for you. It's really for the people with someone in their lives, a relationship, a marriage, or someone that is single but they want to pursue someone. They already know someone in their life that they want to be with. Maybe they didn't say anything yet. It's really about an advice regarding this future relationship that they could have or a relationship that you already have and you need some advice. This is going to be pros, cons and advice regarding this relationship. I'm hoping to get two cards for each and um, hope this resonates with you. Like always, my details my, and the details of the cards I use, everything will be on the description below. This will be a general reading, but if you need something very specific for you, I always do private readings as well. You can contact me. I'll be happy to hear from you. And this will be group number one, two, and three. I just hope you really concentrate on the person you are with or you want to pursue, you want to be with maybe, and concentrate on the pile and this will be uh, the one for you. Always go with your gut feeling. Your first choice is most likely the right one, but you can always, of course, read it, you know, watch the other ones and uh, see which one resonates the most with you. And leave me a comment, leave me a message if this resonates. I'll be really happy to hear from you. Welcome all the new subscribers. Welcome back the other subscribers. I'm really grateful you're here with me today. Again, concentrate, choose one, and I'll leave the timestamp on the description below. Thanks for watching. Group number one, if you chose this beautiful tarot card here, I already shuffled the cards and I pray upon them. I'm not choosing them. The higher powers are choosing them for you. I'll choose two pros, two cons, and one advice. This is really trying to come out, so... I'm shuffling them again. If you want to see, I am shuffling <laughs> here, okay? So, this is really trying to come out. I'll just make sure I have space for all of them here. This wants to come out. And this one too. I'll just leave the card to see if they or otherwise I can always choose one. Okay. I'll organize that you can see all of them. Two cards will be for pros, all right? So these two pros, I feel like, okay, so I'm gonna open these two for pros regarding this relationship, okay? Knight of Pentacles and Six of Cups. Lovely. So this these two cards here for pros, this, this is really six, six of cups, it's really known as the, the soulmate card. Alright, so the pro here is really strong as a soulmate. And the Knight of Pentacles is someone bringing something for you, offering you a, a strong offer security as being the pentacles and the, the the pros of this relationship is really security and feeling the the strong bond is there like a soulmate bond it's really really strong there and coming straight forward so the 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 bond is there it's really a strong connection and it's really someone coming offering you like um, a strong love and everything that you want uh, with this this knight of pentacles maybe not a hundred percent mature i would say but as this very strong offers there is trying to you know give you some security money wise as well it's really connected here and the soulmate really um like i say a little bit immature i feel but it's still 
really strong the bond is there maybe you know this person for a while or maybe this is some someone from your previous life because this is the soulmate card like i said so i really feel a strong bond there this is really a positive positive pro i i want to work this way okay so i have this and this as the cons of this relationship the cons don't worry about them coming upside down i'm i'm really now reading them, you know, reversed. The cons here, I'd say, because we are reading these cards as a cons, all right? Even though those are positive cards, we are reading them as cons. The Knight of Cups, I'd say, it's really coming, rushing with the, the, the feelings. Because this is actually, very, like I say, those are positive cards, but we are reading them as cons okay so what can we take out of these cards as cons in a relationship this uh, knight of cups would really be the feelings the way they express themselves could be a bit of rush or could be a bit of or something that you really not being able to understand each other i feel like the both hard heads i say both is strong personalities with this strength card it this is I'm asking about for direction, all right? And I feel like the the cons would be the personalities are there, very strong, and maybe you know hitting a bit on the on too strong heads, all right? So the communication needs to be quite uh, positive and and loving in a way that you need to be taking care of how you communicate. This the cups are about communication as well. And I, I had a feeling as well, if you, the con here it could be if you have someone and you're not committed yet, because this is written, I mean, like, maybe you feel like you wanted to go into a more serious relationship or even marriage, and I feel like this is not happening, because this, we are reading as con, all right? And you saw as well, it came upside down. I'm not reading them reverse, but it's really about, the con being that this person may not be so committed as you want to. I feel like this is because this is normally the proposal card when it comes. But as we are reading at a con, this means this person may not be as, you know, at least showing how serious they are and uh, how committed they are. They are not, you may be hoping for a proposal, you may be hoping for something more serious, maybe not marriage specific, but something more serious with this relationship and it's not happening, it's not showing. This is the con that's not happening at the moment, right? It doesn't mean that's going to be like this forever. It's just the con of this relationship at the moment. And like I said, if you're single, this could be that the person is not as committed, all right? Or if you if you be with this person, like I say here, this is a pro in a pro in a way that is so made and but it could also be a bit of a maturity here that needs a progress, a grow process. And like I say, two strong heads working at the moment. You need to be really careful with your words, the way you communicate need to be really looked after if you want this to continue. Need maybe something you need or, or something to start. It's something you need to be aware. You need, you're gonna need to be working on constantly is the way you express your feelings the way the communication is done and is here i have the feeling to be the advice card all right another knight all the knights came here page and knight so page of cups and knight of wands in again all all the knights coming here for you well but these are advice cards and i feel like the page of cups is showing that the emotion it's showing again in an immature way i feel it's something you will need to work towards maturity proper communication you really need to do that and uh, work towards your passion and make sure you you are not compromising on yourself you are showing your true self, who you are, your passions, what you want to do. You're not compromising your work because of this relationship. You are doing what you want. You are not really compromising, like I said, yourself in a way that you're not changing who you are 
for this person we always grow together in a relationship and we we do change of course but i mean like don't pretend to be someone else you're not it's my feeling for this relationship and uh, maturity we really need to be able to express our like uh, ourselves properly both sides right so it's the advice here is really don't compromise on yourself be true to yourself be honest with this person whenever it comes to your feelings when it comes to the communication day to day if you're already with this person for a while if you're married or anything like that it's really about uh, maturity because we are talking about adults here but it could be an immature way of treating each other and expressing ourselves in a way that is not really you know any doesn't bring anything good for the relationship so it's really about like I said, look at what are your passions and what you want to do. Don't compromise yourself, like your your true self. Be honest with who you are. And if the person is meant to be with you and they are supposed to fall in love with you the way you are. Like I say, we grow. We have things that we always need to evolve and change, especially in a relationship. But we should not, you know, be someone that we are not or pretend that we are not just to please someone else it's really about being true to yourself and be honest with your feelings be more mature with the feelings the way you express is really strong here with all this uh, you know with the cups coming here and really the advice is be true to yourself and express yourself in a more mature way and you'll be able to evolve in this relationship if that's what you want to continue on you have a good path here it's really about pros cons and advice we're not going to look too much into all the details of the relationship or going past this point like i said you can always contact me if you want more details i do private readings but and i have other videos regarding love as well in love in september if you want to watch that video maybe it's useful for you but it's really about the pros are the connection is there it's really strong security the cons about maturity and being two strong heads working together you have to be really careful with your words with the way you communicate and maybe someone who's not uh, really to willing to get into very serious relationship at the moment doesn't mean forever like i said and here the advice is be true to yourself communicate in a mature way be honest with your feelings and you will be able to progress all right group number one i hope it resonated with you let me know leave me a comment or send me a private message i will be i will be really really happy to hear from you okay i hope it resonated and this is your reading group number one thanks very much for watching group number two if you chose this beautiful tarot set here you're already thinking of the person in your life that you want to be with or you're already with okay i already shuffled and prayed around upon the cards but i'm shuffling them here in case you you want to see me shuffling here they are all right and I don't choose them, I leave the higher powers choose them for you. Sometimes some guys want to come out, this wants to come out. I will do the same way I did for the other group. There will be two pros, two cons, and two advice. Alright. So you're ready. This ones want to come out. Just choosing some cards here that want to come out. Okay, sometimes they just pop out. Okay, group number two. This will be pros, cons, and advice for you. Okay, and the pros for this relationship, whether you are with this person or you want to be with the person. I'm not reading them reverse. Okay. Right. We have justice. Wow, we have the Ten of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful pros here. I see straight away here group number two that the justice is here showing balance. 
is showing this relationship is really balanced, is really, um, I'd say, give and take relationship. That nobody is taking, you know, advan advantage or giving more than the other. It's really a balance. The pros here are really positive. And these are the ten of... Ten of Cups. These are like the family card. If you know tarot, this is a desirable card when someone, when anybody's reading about love. This is really family. This this is a really strong bond. This is really about commitment. Someone who is serious. If you if you're with this person, they want a family with you. They want something long term with you. And if you're not with this person, you're just looking into pursue this person. This is someone who is serious about family and, and values, goals, and if that's what you want to, you probably will have something very serious going on. So the pros here is that security, family, love, it's really there for you. And the strong bond that it's balanced with the loving, this is the main balance card here with the justice, with everything working towards you, like I say, back and forward, Nobody is feeling like they or they wouldn't feel if you if you want to be with this person you're not yet like uh, they're giving more than the other. This is really really positive, really really strong here. Family, family card, uh, and like I said, the bond and prosperity regarding family and being together. Like I say, in a strong long term relationship. Just make sure we have space for all. Your con regarding this relationship, okay, and like I said on the previous group, it could these cards could be positive cards, but we are reading them as a con, so we need to read between the lines, all right. And this card here is about um, celebration parties. Uh, we um, it could represent one 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 one, like uh, you know, make a wish that kind of thing. We are reading as a con. So we just need to understand. Like I said, I'm I'm asking the higher powers here to guide me, because we, are, we they are positive cards, but we are reading them as con. So my feeling here is that you you already have here the the family card, but it's like something is missing here because we are reading this as a con, all right? So it's really about not being able to. Fulfill all your wishes or having high standards. That's how I feel. We're having very high expectations for this person and not allowing time to, because this is the hanged man, it's really about taking time alone and having time to grow and stepping out of a situation, being able to see from a different uh, point of view. It's really about, I feel like, um, even though you have all the balance here, you're still seeing from one perspective. You know, there's a little bit of a grow to happen here because it's, it's about not taking too much into your plate and uh, allowing time to relax. And I feel if you're already in this relationship, it's about having time to... Um, spend time alone as a couple and spend time just alone on your own having time for yourself not doing everything together because this is like parties celebrations family reunions as well you know this card as well and i feel like because the, the family bond is so strong here and the commitment it's about and we are reading like i said positive cards as a con all right and we have to understand here i feel like there's so many commitments going um that will happen if you if you start anything with this person or you already have if you're in a relationship already that there's not much time to give to to the individual to grow to mature and have some time for themselves that's that's my feeling here it's like you're doing everything together and you need to make sure you grow as well as as an individual and doing what you want as well. Not everything always together, which is very good to do things together, of course. But it's about having 
some time for yourself as well and be able to grow and be illuminated, asking the higher powers what are your paths and things that you're supposed to learn as well in this life because there are things we learn in a relationship and there are things we learn by ourselves. So it's just finding that balance and the balance is here. So it's, it should be easy enough for you to go towards this direction in the relationship is not already there or like I say if you want to start a relationship with this person you need to be aware of what can happen it's being involved so much on doing things together doing things with the family that you don't have time for yourself that would be the con here in this relationship and not and make sure you don't distance yourself from who you are as an individual make sure you have time for yourself time for meditate time to walk alone like I say, you will have plenty of times with these cards here to do things together. But if you see this as a negative thing, it's if you're doing too many things together. If you're doing only uh, things together and we forget who, you, who we are as well sometimes. If we don't give some time to ourselves to grow, to learn something new, to do something we like. Remember what are the kinds of things we used to do by ourselves before we had this person. And remember to make time for yourself as well so this will be the con all right like i say those are positive cards if we're reading in a different way but we are specifically reading here two positive like i said two con um two pros two cons and two advices so it's really about finding that time for yourself don't forget who you are as an individual in this relationship whether you are already with this person or you want to be with this person all right it's quite clear here for me now and an advice here is the page of cups and the magician. Lovely card. So an advice as an advice here for you. The page of cups, it's that one that comes rushing with the feelings and a bit immature. Similar enough to group number one, there is some maturity, some growth to happen for this relationship to work. So you need to make sure you work you work towards your emotions and be able to express yourself properly with, um, without, with, with maturity. It's really about growth and um, the, the, the relationship I feel is very strong with this card here and both cards are very strong and the bond is there, the, like I said, the family, the commitment is there. But there needs to be time for yourself and with this page of cups here showing maturity there needs to be some time to mature like I said together and separately we need time to grow and this is really about expressing yourself in a mature way if we are taking this as an advice right so make sure you don't express yourself in a childish way in a rushed way you choose your words carefully towards this relationship and you can grow and you don't you know create wounds that there no need to be there when we use the wrong words or the wrong way of expressing ourselves. And the magician is here beautifully showing that you two together can really manifest anything you want. This is really a beautiful connection, I feel, that you can manifest anything you want together. You will be able to, I feel like doing, doing business together and even be secure money-wise, be able to manifest anything you want if you make sure you work towards you know making the strong bond and the, the strong cons of the pros of the relationship make them stronger and the cons work on the cons like i said don't be so immersed on on you know everything that happens in the family or the relationship doing everything together make sure you have time for yourself time to grow express yourself properly and together i feel here i feel this card is together you will be able to manifest anything you want and it's really the advice here is go for the things you want make sure it's about your passions the things you love and the two of you with proper communication and will be able to manifest anything you want it's really really strong here it's beautiful this is a really lovely relationship if you already have someone or if you if you're trying to pursue this person and if you're not there yet but you chose these cards this means you have so much potential with this relationship right maybe you're not balanced yet but the cone of this relationship 
the, sorry, the pro of this relationship, if it's, if it's the balance here, if it's the justice, if it's the family, this means it's so strong there for you and you can manifest this whenever you want. The manif this is like a manifestation card. Just use your words carefully. Have, that, have time to talk, have time to meditate first on your words and everything you want to grow and be and use the right words. You have a way with this relationship to do whatever you want. It's really, really strong. If, even if you don't feel like the potential is there to be very strong. So take some time for yourself. Make sure you have that time alone and use the right words and you too can manifest anything you want. It's, this is a beautiful, beautiful family relationship or a, like I said, bond and commitment doesn't mean marriage but if you want to be the marriage for sure and kids house everything is showing here it's really strong so if you're already with this person you want to be this is a beautiful this is like the relationship cards you want to have if you're talking about love so i hope it resonated with you group number two thanks very much for watching and let me uh, know if it did leave me a comment or send me a private message if you want like i said it's a bit general but if you want more details do contact me for private readings i will be really happy to hear from you okay again i hope it resonated let me know this is your reading thanks very much group number two group number three if you chose this beautiful deck here you already know the person you're thinking about you you know who you want to be with or who you are already with. Think about that person. I'm shuffling here. Okay, it's, I already did and I pray upon them, but some cards like to come out and I wait for them to come out sometimes. Sometimes I choose them. I will have the same way as I did with the other groups. Two pros, two cons and two advice cards. Okay, let me just shuffle them, make sure that, okay, this one wants to come out. I'm not reading them in reverse because there will be already two pros and two cons. Okay. Card wants to come out here. Okay, this one wants to come out as well. Okay. Okay, just so you understand again the same way as the other ones. This will be the two pros on this relationship, the two cons, and the, ad the two advice cards, all right? That's why I say it. I'm not reading them in reverse. Two pros. Okay. Like I said, even if you think they are negative cards or positive cards, we are reading them as pros, we are reading them as cons. I don't know if in case, in case you know the tarot cards all right so the six of, of cups came as well in, the, in one of the other readings it's really this is really a soulmate card this is represent a soulmate card a really strong bond a relationship so the the pro here is a straight away is telling you this is a soulmate it could be someone from your previous life that you're meeting now or you're trying to pursue or you're already on a relationship with it is a soulmate relationship it's it's lovely here is showing directly the five of pentacles normally represents a, a, a way of seeing yourself in a pity way but we are talking about a pro here so we need to see the the good side of the card the good thing about this card is being able to see that the help is available there for you even if you're outside the help is right there be aware so as a positive, as a as a pro thing for this re relationship, I feel like you're really able to rely on this person in times of need. And you you could maybe is, have started this in a feeling that you, you didn't belong or you're feeling sorry for yourself or coming from a hard, um, you know, previous relationships, things that didn't work out or were really bad for you. But this person was there for you in times of need. So, or like I said, if you're single and you're trying to pursue this person, this is someone who's going to be there 
for you, showing you that light inside there, the window showing you there is another way. I'm here to help you. So the pros here is really soulmate connection and someone who is there to help you, to be there for you when you need. Lovely, beautiful connection. As a con, like I said, this could be really, this could even be positive cards, but we are really as a con. Well, this here, the, the Nine of Pentacles is about fulfillment and seeing like being content with yourself and as we are reading as a con this is really about not feeling fulfilled in this relationship not feeling content in this case with with everything that you're showing even though there's so much growth there's so much around there's so much potential you're not seeing the big picture here not being able to see all the good things that this relationship is about. This three of, of swords means there's so much hurt that I feel in this case it came from other relationships because like I say, it could be that you're not even with this person, you're pursu pursuing this person. You need to be careful with the, the wounds that you have and they have from previous relationships. And if you're already with this person, also from previous relationships and even I feel like maybe something that you two could have gone through together. You you working towards healing wounds and this is like as a con regarding this relationship is that you needed to, to keep working on this. It's not something that's going to go away easily and this feeling of not being happy, not being not being able to see the big picture, not being able to see what is around you. With the, there are many good things in this relationship. It's really a soulmate relationship, and I am I'm actually uploading a video right now as we, as I'm recording this one regarding uh, soulmate, twin flames, and karmic relationships. And if you see the, about the the soulmates, they are loving relationships, and you can be with them or you, you may not. It, it just means that this is a strong bond, but it's your choice really, because I feel like the cons here is that both sides are coming from hard previous relationships. I have a feeling that's, that's what's coming towards me. And then you're not being able to see the big picture, the good things that this relationship is bringing towards you. That's really strange in a way, but that's the feeling I'm having. It's like, there's so much to see, there's so much potential in this relationship, there's a soulmate connection there, but you're not being able to see the big picture, both sides it could be, all right, because of previous wounds, previous issues that you could have had with this relationship and it has already resolved, but the wounds are there, or if you're not with this person, or like, like I say, it could be previous relationships, whether you are with this person or not, that this will affect this relationship, the way you see everything, or they see as well, you know, you're not going to be able to see the big picture all the time, because of, because of previous hurts, so you need to work, if you really want this relationship to work, you're going to need to work on the way of seeing yourself, and, and they have to work towards um, their heart, like uh, healing previous issues, previous relationships, previous Things that happen in our lives that we need to really be able to see in a different way to grow and see us. I always say hurts, previous issues, problems that we had in our lives as in stepping in stones to grow and uh, get somewhere much more beautiful and uh, and healed and grow really and be able to see with loving eyes looking back in your past. We do have uh, the advice cards here. Again, this is this is really really connected. The five of cups and the emperor, really really strong here, right? The advice here with the five of cups is exactly what I'm saying here. I'm seeing it's really about uh, you see here this this guy here in the picture. If you can see, all right, he's not being able to. He it's like he's He's upset about those cups that are not working out instead of concentrate on the ones that are. It's really about being able to... The advice here is very, very clear and connected here with the, with the 
with the counts, be able to let go of of previous wounds, previous hurts that you could have happened with this relationship or previous relationships and grow from that, not concentrate on that alone. Look at the two big upwards cups you have. Look at the beautiful potential of the relationship. Soulmate connection. And you need to be able to see the big picture. The emperor is here showing that this is, this can be really a strong, really secure relationship if you allow. That's really, really coming strong here for you. If you want, this is a very strong relationship that can grow, can mature, but there is a lot of work to be done here regarding previous past hurts that we all had. We all had those horrible relationships. It, it, it happens, right? It is. Uh, if you watch my video that I'm going to upload, or if you, when I upload this one, it's already on my channel. So I hope you you watch that one if you didn't already. And learn a little bit about the karmic relationships that we go through. And they really challenge. And uh, we go, we, it hurts us so much many, many times. But it's really about the growth. And once you grow from that, you can move on to the next level, which is the soulmate connection maybe it's a twin flame connection this one because the you will you will have to grow first you have to work towards this relationship it's really about uh, being able to see the big picture and be able to see the potential you have and look back in your previous relationships with uh, loving eyes and learning with experience make sure you move on to this new relationship or this new phase of your relationship if you're ready with this person for a while with um, maturity and loving eyes and being able to grow from these previous hurts all right and there's a really really secure mature point of the relationship here showing as an advice go for the maturity go for the growth and you have so much potential there's so much security if you want, if you really want this person, if you didn't have yet, or if you really want to continue in this relationship, if you already have. Okay, group number three, this is what I'm feeling here. I really feel like there's so much potential. It really depends on how much you're going to work towards and put some work towards your self-healing and uh, self-healing and couple healing as well together. And you can grow so much. Soulmate connection is here from the beginning. All right. I hope it resonated. Let me know. Leave me a comment. I'll be really happy to hear from you. Like I say, this is quite general, but if you want more details, you can always contact me for a private reading or send me a message. I'll be really happy to answer back. I'll be really happy to hear from you. Thanks very much, group number three. I hope you have a lovely and happy healing day. Thanks for watching.